Hello everyone, something a bit different today. We are gonna try to speed run the valuation of a startup. We are gonna assume that we have uh, their financials in Excel and we have some information about the company that in this case is provided by ChatGPT about a random startup and we'll see how fast we manage to get to a valuation. Of course, the goal of valuation is not to be as fast as possible, but we want to be very practical and we want Equidam to be very practical. So um, we want to get to valuation very, very quickly. That means that we can also iterate on it and get to a very good valuation very, very quickly. So enjoy the video. All right, everyone, back at it today with how fast can we value a startup? As you can see, our last record was 8 minutes, 49 seconds. Let's see if we can do better today. We have a new uh, startup here from ChatGPT, um, just generated at random. The name is DataNest. They do data analytics. They provide cloud-based data analytics to SMEs, 15 employees based in Toronto, uh, 2024, so started quite recently. And uh, CEO and COO, software as a service, all right. Currently bootstrapped. They uh, actively seeking Series A to accelerate product development, okay. I mean, maybe ChatGPT here, uh, maybe that's a bit early to look for a Series A. We're gonna think they're gonna look for a pre-seed uh, since they just started. Um, but they put in substantial maybe money themselves, uh, given that they go after this uh, market and they already have a touch of revenue. That's, that's uh, what we're gonna assume. Um, yeah, uh, user-friendly interface, okay, so that's kind of their, their uh, competitive advantage. They are, yeah, of course, it's a crowded market and we're trying to really shoot for uh, differentiation and try to compete and future goal, uh, expand internationally, AI-driven predictive analytics. All right, all right, cool. So quite an uh, interesting potential, uh, but a crowded market. Okay, so name is DataNest. All right, so let's uh, see what we can do with DataNest. And uh, here we go. All right, so let's see. So first we start on the 10 questions. Um, of course, we're, we're doing this on, on Equidem um, in case you were wondering as kind of the quickest way to do this. So we said business analytics. So that's probably what we should look for, right? This um, in these industries, we look for what the other consumer would buy, right? And they would probably buy exactly this so data processing services. Um, if they wouldn't know about this analytics, that's what they would buy from a competitor. Um, so we said we are definitely startup stage, copyright, I don't think they have a patent or anything, a company break even, no, past year, I'm not sure right now, We let's say we received an Excel file from the company, but right now we don't need to uh, go into the details. Uh, let's just do a little bit uh, more here and all right, so we're done with the 10 questions. We are ahead of schedule. All right, so valuation status. All right, so this is a preliminary valuation. Now we need to go and refine it. The questionnaire is probably what's gonna take the most time, at least from the past, given that we have financial projections. So um, they invested quite a bit, we said so far, right? So let's say they invested like 130,000. So for now we are in US dollars. We can change that, but uh, let's keep it US dollars easier to understand. Uh, no, they're full time. They are a bit older. They're going after analytics. Uh, they do have successfully sold the company. They have for now only three employees, let's say. And uh, so we're, we're doing this from the point of view of an investor, more or less, that has received a deck of this company, let's say, right? Uh, of course, we're improvising some of the information, but because that's the only thing that we have from uh, from JGPT. Uh, let's say we do have the technical skills, managerial skills, maybe not too many. The business is definitely scalable, B2B, startup stage, all right? And I like to save from time to time just so uh, my data is saved. Uh, does the company, yeah, we do have a board of advisors. Let's say we have four people. We haven't raised anything so far. It's only friends and family, like, or the founders with, with somebody. Um, we definitely have uh, multiple exit strategies that are lots of competitors that can buy that. Uh, we do have an MVP with some revenue, 
the demand has been validated by competitors the yeah we haven't done our research on this but let's say it's quite large on the like 40 billion with an annual rate of 10 percent um and uh the barriers are pretty low to be honest these days you can build up that software fairly easily and uh several big players existing competitors are pretty good uh you uh, we our product is comparable but we innovate for marketing proposition uh so we want to go broad right but the competition is already established um focus now is on the local market but they want to go international at some point uh, like fairly positive reviews it's an mvp after all and average retention so far and uh key strategic partnerships probably not many right like marketing wise especially legal entity incorporated in 2024 um legal consultants not yet it's canada uh, us would probably have that already and uh ip not applicable much uh, we're doing this as uh, an investor let's say and this don't affect the valuation but we just want to uh, just finish the testing for you um fundraising the company's fundraising and no no blockchain all right so that's questionnaire done uh still ahead of schedule so that's good i don't think we're gonna break the five minutes but maybe the seven minutes uh all right so financials here without losing time we have received the financials from the company so we're just gonna upload them and uh, have them here so here i have five years i wanted to see if five years actually makes sense so five years for a very early stage startup is probably too much as they like this becomes very much speculation so i can remove the last two years save the financials see my updated valuation see the methods and we're done with financials right we want to check advanced settings as the next thing um not too much to do uh, ebda multiple is something that we want to go into uh, especially given that uh, there are competitors of this now i'm not super uh, aware of uh, competitors like snowflakes I think, no, snowflake i think is public data analytics and and uh, database software we have negative EBDA multiple, so that's not very useful. Uh, revenue, uh, revenue multiple quite high. Amazon, of course, does a lot of other things, so it doesn't make sense. I don't think they have a subsidiary for uh, AWS. No. Other computing, Hetzner, maybe. Uh, not public, or am I mistaken? Anyways, yeah, so that's what we could do here, uh, but right now we are speed running this. So uh, other checks. So they are raising capital um let's say they're raising a pre-seed of uh, half a million mostly for product development and 30 percent for sales and operations 20 percent all right and other checks i think we are not going to check benchmarks today um that's not part of the speed run all right so let's go download the report and all right let's go let's go let's go so we're done we are downloading the report uh, we're gonna be under seven minutes and all right we have it six minutes 17 and 90 seconds so that's getting pretty speedy let me see if i can show you this report um all right yeah so here we have it data nest for today so we got for now like we can always adjust things right but for now we got to a very very quick valuation uh of 6.7 million interesting and the uh for the fundraising of half a million for 686 percent it might be a little bit uh on the high side we probably need to go look into the financials and see what we want to do but that's you know that's easy to do we can iterate in there I'm not super sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we have, um, of course, financials influenced mostly by the growth and the uh, and the marginality. So the company indicates this type of marginality for now. Seems like a big jump from year two to year three. So there is definitely space to investigate that further. And capital expenditures are uh, not present. Probably a mistake from the company. They included only like four thousand bucks. So maybe they have a bit more on that. 
uh, future fundraising but we can see here they're gonna need more money uh, if they want to sustain this growth because the half a million is gonna be used up the first year so um, yeah yeah there are a few things that we can change but otherwise uh, yeah six minutes 17 for a full first valuation that's not too bad